So this is a four family house in Garfield. Pretty much just been used for storage space up until now. But we're gonna turn it into our own Airbnb. We put on this uh, code lock so that we can change out the codes. Work in progress. And yeah, we're gonna transform this place into an Airbnb. And we're gonna kind of make it a little different by making it Japanese style. As you can see, it's a little unfinished. But in a couple weeks, that'll be very different. And we hope to host this soon. So, I want to show you guys our Airbnb we just built. So it's right outside our front door. It does have a private entrance, luckily. And we installed this digital keypad. And so people can check in themselves. And so we made this place Japanese themed. It's pretty cool. Place. It took a lot of work. Probably took us like we were at. We wanted like two months to finish this place. It probably took us like six overall. We installed this nice mini split that does heat and AC, just like they have in Japan, actually. But it's a nice condensed unit. They have a condenser and then a wall unit here, and that's what heats and cools this entire unit. All we have is this main room and the bathroom, which I'll show you in a second. So this room was just storage because it was kind of like an in-law suite that we just never utilized. It was never finished when we bought the place because um, we live in this four family house uh, but this was just like an extra space that we were just storing stuff so we decided you know let's get this place moving let's get it started and let's start finishing it so you know we put in all new flooring and we wanted to make it into an Airbnb we thought it was a cool idea to have an Airbnb right outside a house make some extra income and yeah just see how hosting would be and we, since I'm, uh, my mom's Japanese, I thought, let's make a Japanese theme. We did that for several reasons. We have these, um, we want it to be like a multi-purpose space, just in case the Airbnb failed. Uh, we didn't want these full-size beds and all this other stuff that we couldn't take out of the way. And we didn't know how successful it would be. So we thought, hey, multi-service space, we can roll these beds out of the way and use it as like a home gym or a yoga studio to do our workouts. And so that's why I installed that projector too. Uh, to play workout videos, but also for the Airbnb ears, you know, there's a Roku stick on the back of it and you can control the Roku stick there and we have this pull down screen so people can enjoy the video when they're not wanting to experience the ambiance of the room and yeah, just have Netflix and Amazon all ready to go and I guess Disney Plus now and just turned on with the Roku stick um what else we built this home uh, kotatsu table which is a heated japanese table i built it i found an old table in the garbage and i took it down to size i, sh I shortened it and i installed a heating unit underneath which powers on here and um if i show you underneath you can actually see the heater lamp on there heating the unit so that's nice and cozy in there and you have these Japanese style uh, seating. So it's a nice card table, place to play board games and just enjoy. We bought these uh, since we're close to New York City in Northern Jersey and some people stay for the city, some people stay for wedding venues. We got these guides for people to just look at. Um, we have this instruction sheet giving transportation, local food, convenience stores in the area, a little map with all the highways, some other attractions people might like, and just like the cost of everything, the location, how far from the Airbnb. And then this is our general instructions on how to get to the unit. You know, our entrance is there, parking is right behind the house. Here's another um, bird's eye view of where the Airbnb entrance is in relation to the two family back there, two family to the side, and where to park. And we give, you know, the code to get into the unit, we give the Wi-Fi, all the relevant uh, data, you know, how to turn on the projector, the kotatsu, where the bedding, and everything like that is in the house rules. And we tried to make it, you know, pretty friendly, um, and tried to, you know, design as many aesthetically pleasing things. We've been to Japan, both of us, we loved it. We love the simple architecture of it all, and like the paper shoji screen windows. So this actually, on the, so the, the table that I picked up from the garbage, this was one of the butcher block countertops, uh, uh, tabletops on it, and that was the second. So this is actually the same wood as this, and I cut it in half, and I cut, using a router jig, I cut, cut a big circle out of it, and then installed the sh shoji um, 
sticks in between and then uh, glued the paper onto that and stained the whole thing. So that was cool. And then we have the two windows here. And these are actually functioning windows. These are decorative, so it's kind of just uh, Velcroed in place, but it's otherwise a functional window and just kind of helps with the aesthetic. But uh, we wanted to leave the functionality there, so I just built it to size and stained it and put on the paper and all of that. And like any, okay, so there's, you know, the projector screen. So like I said, people can just enjoy Netflix and enjoy like a home studio experience. And yeah, it's pretty cool um, to have that whole thing. Uh, there's a lot of reasons people seem to stay here, but uh, some of it, some of it, people just want to stay for the for the cool amenities, you know, um, like the projector screen. You can have like a fun game night, you know, the kotatsu table. I even have Japanese DVDs I purchased. Um, so just to add to the Japanese theme, so people just might want to watch a whole series of vintage anime and that's why they might stay. So we have the DVD player here. Um, let's see, so let me show you guys the bathroom. So bathroom again, the, there was rough plumbing installed when we bought the place, but we decided to finish it so that the Airbnb, for the Airbnb. And just, you know, simply put in a toilet, shower, vanity and just made it nice we bought some local art so this is actually a local japanese artist in the clifton area and she painted that and we bought it um there's another piece of art actually out here but yeah pretty simple aesthetic we got nice towels and you know we just buy on amazon some of these kind of like hotel type conditioners and soaps uh, just to kind of give that hotel type experience of uh, being away from home and enjoying a, a luxury experience. So pretty simple overall. And yeah, so this is another piece of art that we bought from a local artist uh, who made this kimono mat. Also, I think in the Clifton area, a uh, Japanese lady made that and uh, we bought it. So just um, used a lot of local talent and uh, kept that Japanese culture. Uh, we also had a friend who actually made a lot of my logos make our Fujisan Hotel logo. So that's the logo for this place. We named it the Fujisan Hotel after uh, my wife and I back in 2015 climbed Mount Fuji together and we were inspired um, by that climb and the, the place they have to stay up there and we, th we thought it would be cool to name it after, after that. So, so when guests stay here, if they really like it, they can take these stickers and stick them on and remember their experience there too. And we have our Keurig machine, um, the standard stuff. We usually have bottles of water in here. There's a freezer for them to use too. And so pretty much you have all your comforts. No full kitchen or anything because it's a very small space, but uh, you have your microwave should you want to heat anything up. And we have local menus from the area, all different things. We labeled them with how far they are from the Airbnb. So there's a 0.2 miles, it's a cheap place, $1 sign, and just all different labels all throughout, even like local attractions, like a spa that's nearby. Um, and with that, we, and you know, just adding little touches here and there. Here's a white noise machine. We personally like white noise machines. So just to add a little more privacy to the unit, you can uh, have white noise. So just little touches here and there to make it a little above and beyond um, what you're normally used to. And my wife actually painted this mural. These are sticks we actually got from Mount Fuji when we hiked it. Uh, we got both of these sticks at the top of Mount Fuji. I don't know, kind of like a touristy thing to do, but all the tourists had them and uh, actually they really helped with the descent because there's a lot of wear and tear on your knees. Um, so, I was mentioning the multi-purpose space. So, uh, you can see extra tatami mats are here, hiding behind this kind of facade. And what our thought was, you know, if this place wasn't so popular, but it is really popular, people are staying all the time, but if it wasn't, we could roll these mats away, store them in the closet, which I haven't shown you yet, and then take the tatami and put them away, and then we could use this space for multi-function. You know, my wife's an artist, she could teach art classes in here. Um, so we knew we were putting a big investment, you know, it was about $4,000 to renovate this whole place. And at the current rate, we should, um, in three and a half months have made back all our money based off the earnings because we're making about two thousand dollars a month you know 20 out of 30 days booked uh per month and that's about two thousand dollars a month 
uh, but we have about $800 in expenses. A majority of that's just cleaning fees uh, to pay a cleaner uh, to clean it. And that's actually, uh, yeah. So making about $1,200 a month. So in about three and a half months, we'd be, uh, make a return on investment and then it'd all be gravy from there. Uh, so again, just trying to make things really easy, you know, labeling on the router. Hey, the Wi-Fi is this and the password is that. And uh, just trying to make things as friendly as possible. Again, even here on the, the switches, you know, we have our main light switch, uh, the window and the exterior light switch and like how to cool, heat and dry the unit. Just trying to make things as simple as possible. In here is a closet. We have extra foam mats just in case people, so this is memory foam mats in case people um, don't like the stiffness of the traditional Japanese futon bed. They can use that. Uh, here's some cleaning equipment should they want to clean. So it's coat hangers, um, ironing board, and yeah, that's, that's about it. Oh, I did want to show you. So again, just for simplicity, again, we have, you know, a lot of information here, just the address of the place, any details should they need to contact me or right here, my contact details, um, checkout instructions, how to use the lock, the uh, lock out there, and just the checkout time. So everything's up front, you don't need to go looking for it, it's all there, trying to make it as simple and convenient as possible for people to stay here and have an awesome experience without needing to look through a thousand pages. So that's a little bit about this Airbnb. Uh, we're really proud of what we've done. You know, we installed all this flooring by hand, all the trim. So it was really a, definitely a labor of love that we we're very proud of the end result. And it's cool seeing other guests come here and give us five star reviews and really enjoy the space. And uh, it's been a great side hustle that's bringing in extra income. Brought us right to a, over 100% financial independence, brought us to 102% financial independence. So that was really cool to see. We were hovering at 90% for so long and then this just boosted us over. So definitely, definitely really cool experience. A lot of hard work went into it, but uh, worthwhile for sure. So I hope you enjoyed that video and hope we can inspire you to create your own Airbnb. It doesn't have to be magical like this or special like this, but if you can put your own spin on it, it's always great to take ownership over whatever you produce and uh, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Godspeed.